right, welcome back to the Cowboys Legend Show here at Austin Ranch. Cowboyscorral.com. Good to see everybody out here. Our special guest today is, I guess we can call him old now, old number 24, <laughs> Everson Walls. Give it up for Everson Walls. Thank you for being with us. And let's get into uh, kind of some of what you're doing now in, uh, in your life after football, Everson Walls. You know, I'm doing a lot of things, obviously, uh, but I think what's really important right now is I have a foundation that Ron Springs and myself started after our... Amen. Get it up for Ron. Ron. After, after our uh, 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 kidney uh, transplant surgery, uh, we started a, a, a kidney transplant foundation called the Ron Springs and Everson Walls Gift for Life Foundation. And that foundation is to talk about the importance of not just becoming an, an organ donor, signing up for that, but also to become, if possible, and if you're healthy enough, and if you're inclined to do so, to become a living organ donor. Uh, a lot of people are afraid about the misconceptions out there about uh, donating a kidney. Uh, I had some friends that actually thought that, you know, they only had one kidney. And of course, you have two. So you can afford to give up one if you're healthy enough. Uh, my, I'm doing well, obviously. I'm, in better shape than I've ever been in my entire life. Just watching what I eat, as I always did. Uh, even picked up my train a little bit, running in some turkey trots, and intend, intending to run in a half marathon one of these days, but I'm, I don't think I'm ready for that. brothers don't usually do that? Now, brothers don't jog. <laughs> <laughs> brothers don't, don't jog, right? but I'm jogging. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, I can't play basketball anymore, so I figure I might as well pick up something I can do and enjoy. So I'm right um, doing that as well as uh, I have a book coming out. Uh, oh, in, right. uh, around February. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the uh, former Dallas Morning News uh, writer, uh, Kevin Blackstone. He and I are co-authoring uh, my memoirs uh, of what's been going on with me throughout my life and up to the point where Ron and I decided to, to go into this endeavor of uh, you know, trying to change people's lives. Amen. That's definitely going to be a must read. Uh, what about uh, your memory of Texas Stadium? You grew up right down the street here and Dallas, Texas, you know, and high school football. You went over there in Grambling, played with the great Eddie Robinson, or for the great Eddie Robinson. What was it like for you to walk down that tunnel in Texas Stadium uh, as an undrafted free agent, your first time, and this is a stadium you grew up watching and being around, and now you're on that field in a cowboy uniform, putting that helmet on with the star. What was it like, Everson? <laughs> Well, you know, obviously it was intimidating. I mean, you know, being out there with you guys, uh, all of y'all were, were, I was fans of y'all before I even uh, had a chance to, to step on the field. I always brag about, brag to everyone that the, the Hail Mary catch was on my 16th birthday. So. 16? <laughs> oh, I, 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 you didn't have to say that. I, I always, you know, had this connection, I thought, with the Dallas Cowboys. And, you know, of course, coming into that stadium, you know, it was, at that time, the stadium wasn't as old as it is now, so there weren't those patches you had on the roof and everything. And, and it was just <laughs> one of the, the most beautiful arenas I had ever, I had ever seen. And, and of course, to look at it as you're coming down the, down the tunnel and then you, you come out of the tunnel and it just opens up into the field. To look at it from that angle, you know, it, 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 it just really lets you know how important that moment is, not just to try and make the team, but just to realize that, you know, you're stepping down here with a lot of historical figures. Amen. Uh, you know, guys like Starback, guys like Bob Hayes, guys like Mel Renfro, all these players that represent the Dallas Cowboys, all of a sudden you realize you are going to be, hopefully, a part <laughs> of that legacy. And I say hopefully because that was just training camp and preseason. I hadn't quite made the team yet. So yeah. anxiety was, was at an all-time high for me. You were uh, very much anticipating making it and God bless you, because it turned out. Yes. Sir. But let me tell you how close Everson was to the Dallas Cowboys growing up. How far away from the Dallas Cowboy practice field did you live? I'll give you an example. If, uh, if practice started at, if, if the meeting started at 10 o'clock, right. I can get up at 9.30 and make it in plenty of time. Still do. <laughs> so it was maybe, it was maybe three miles from the practice field where, and I grew up in a small African-American community called Hamilton Park, which is right there on the borderline between Dallas and Richardson. And uh, so I always connected to the Dallas Cowboys. And they tell the stories, and it's not exaggerated about, 
me riding up there on my motorcycle, or before I even had a motorcycle on my little, little bike, and uh, you know, standing on people's cars and trunks and hoods and watching these guys practice. True story, that's exactly how it happened. And uh, you know, that's, that's what really drew me to the Cowboys, of course. Amen, that's been really being close and being a part of the Dallas Cowboys. We're gonna have more with Everson Walls, our special guests after we get back. But also we got a special treat for you as well.